I'll show you today how to save some related data in a three-dimensional array in Java. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to my channel helping you to improve your skills in programming. Support this channel by sharing and subscribing in this channel. So uh, today we will be talking about a very important subject which is the three-dimensional or multi-dimensional array. Sometimes you need to save some related data and to keep them related. So I'll show you in an example how to demonstrate and how to do this. So now let's switch to NetBeans. And here I started a new project, initialized a new object, input of scanner. And I will start immediately here by declaring a new array, which is a three dimensional array. And in this array, I'm gonna save the grades of a student. So imagine that we have two students. For each student, there are two exams and each exam has two parts. So how can I save this related data? So two dimensional array is not enough. So here is the scenario. This is the case that we are going to work on to save this related information. So first I'll start uh, initializing the array and here i am declaring the array which is student that has three dimensions and here i will start by creating this new array it's of type integer assuming that all the grades are integers so here we have two students and here we have two exams and here we have two uh, parts for each exam. So I kept this as small as possible to make it easy for you and to enter the data one by one. So here I am going to use uh, some counters to help us to walk through the array. And here the array is std.length. So again, I will use another for counter. And here I'm using some hotkeys in Java NetBeans. If you are interested to learn how to use these uh, shortcuts, I'll leave the link for the video up here. So this is the other one, J, and here for the number of exams. And here I will use the same array, std of i dot length. So the length of this. And here now, I can ask the user to enter the grades. Please enter exam part one for the student. And here I will make some statements here to print the, the number of the student plus the exam number. So this is the first message that will be displayed. And here I'm going to accept the input from the user and this is the first part of that exam zero representing the first part of the exam and here i will say input that next integer to accept the input from the user and we'll do the same thing here i'm copying the statement and i will say please enter the second one second part of the test and here I am doing this statement copy and here is the second part referred by the last dimension the third dimension so after that we can say that we are done with this and here we enter the, the date so remember we have two students two exams and two parts now after that we can print the array to walk through the elements of the array. I'll print the array, which is std of i, j, and here k for the last part. For I need 4k, and here std of i, j dot 
length and here we can just print let me move this up array and here we need some statement to arrange the output so let's run this and let's see the results first let's enter the first student here number one and the first exam and here the first part will be let's say 25 part 2 will be 20 and here the next exam and here 40 and 20 and now the second student and here the second student get 35 for the first part and 25 for the second part and here is the second student second exam 50 and 40 and here are the data so to make them in a two-dimensional shape I'll get rid of the new line I'll add some spaces here and we can run it again entering some data and here you can see that we have two students this is the data for the first student and this is the data for the second student the first student has two exams this is the first exam that has two parts 10 and 15 the second exam that has two parts as well and this is the same so this is an example of a two-dimensional array the best way to solve this kind of problems we can take advantage of the multi-dimensional arrays and this is what we achieve. This is all for today. I hope you learned something new. So please consider to subscribe, share and like. Thank you and have a wonderful day.